Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to show you how to add system arguments uh, to basically generate system wide for Lemon, which is a bootloader you should be using. Uh, it's much more up to date than Grub. It's actually a little bit better than System MD boot, and it just I don't know. I don't know about Refined. I never liked Refined. There's a lot of people that don't really like Refined. So yeah, uh, we're going to CD into slash Etsy slash default. And in here, if when you do ls, you're going to notice there's lemon. And we're going to do sudo gedit, if I can, if it lets me. Lemon. And does it let me? Yes, it does. Now, we're going to move that out of the way. Um, I'm actually going to try to change this to dark mode so you guys can like... No, it's just not going to let me. At all. I hate when that happens. Well, there you go. So this is how you do it right here. And this is your kernel command line. So you just add to the end of here and it needs to close with these. And that's it. So I need to find an example of something I could add in here. All right. So I could add this in here. See that? This allows me to use whatever I want on my motherboard and separate them into their own individual groups, which means that I could use VMs and stuff to basically um, input NVMEs, separate USB drives, graphic cards, things like that. And it's something that it's eventually I will want to put in there. So there we go. I think that is probably the perfect example. So don't screw it up. This is where the ESP path is. We do not change that. Okay. This, if you're wondering what this command does, it just allows me to not get hit by split lock. But then I get hit by ring zero, which is really annoying. And I'm hoping the 6.17 kernel solves that. So when a new kernel automatically installs, by the way, I'm going to end up saving that. Thank you. What's going to happen is it's going to take from that path and it's basically going to go into boot right here. Enter our passwords. There we go. And it's going to create this. So as you can see right now, it's not passed over. So if I actually opened up the terminal, or at least took another terminal, and I did sudo make init dash p uh, linux. Oh, actually, this should be enough, right? Yes. There we go. As you can see, it updated successfully, and I don't know if it did or not. It should have. It's supposed to. <laughs> uh, that's always the fun of it, isn't it, though? Or it's supposed to do something. But you don't know if it's going to do it or not. There it is. It actually successfully updated it. That's very nice. I, uh, I do very enjoy the fact that it did. Everything is correct. There's no odd spacing. That's where it would end up going. All right. So that's pretty easy to deal with. And another thing is, if you have any issues with the arguments that you added during boot up time, you should be able to essentially edit any line that you added out by, I don't know. I don't know uh, what button it would be for this, but it'd probably be E or something. There should be an option to do that. And you could just revert anything that you need to. So there you go. I hope that helps. Yeah, and remember, the path is this. Right there. That is the path, the one and only. That's where it is, and that controls everything. So let me know if this, guy's, if this helps you or not. I don't know if this is a well-known thing or not, but I had to get this out anyway. It's been a while since I've done videos about new things, and I just wanted to jump in and get that done. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.